Moving on to the international scene now, the UN Secretary General had harsh words for Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, but it's not clear Ban Ki-moon knew he was being recorded. His comments came days before a key UN report is due on a suspected chemical weapons attack. CNN's senior international correspondent Nick Payton has the details. It's perhaps a misspeak that set the tone for a suddenly very busy week ahead at the UN. Its chief may think he wasn't on camera, but still said this of the vital looming UN inspector's report on Syria. I believe that the report will be a overwhelming, overwhelming report that the chemical weapons was used, even though I cannot publicly say uh, at this time. His spokesman tried to reel it back. The report is not completed. I'm not privy to the information he had. But Ban Ki-moon added that Syrian President Bashar al-Assad had committed many crimes against humanity and would face eventually, quote, a process of accountability. The UN inspector's report into the 21st of August gas attacks will, I'm told, come out on Monday and be detailed enough for others to work out who was behind the attacks, though it's not the inspector's job to do so. Many are asking if Syria's sudden move to join the Chemical Weapons Convention unconditionally unveiled here on Thursday is trying to preempt that report. The UN's lawyers are checking Syria's letter to them about joining the convention to be sure that it says the right things. Now, if it does, in 30 days, UN inspectors could be inside Syria. And in 60 days, Syria will have to declare all of its chemical weapons and facilities. Then the nightmare begins of finding maybe thousands more of these inspectors to brave a vicious war zone and dismantle tons of the world's deadliest substances. But this timeline isn't fast enough for the British, French and Americans. They want a Security Council resolution that will make Syria tell all in just two weeks. Again, eyes back on this building, weeks ago dismissed as paralysed and irrelevant.